All right, everyone. So for number one on our guided practice today, we have 98 one hundredths. So a little bit less than one times seven and three tenths. Now it doesn't matter which way you put these. Um, of course, I put mine this way, but it doesn't really matter because we're not gonna deal with this zero as we multiply. We're gonna pretend like he's not there. So you could do this either way and you've still got plenty of room on top and bottom to work with either of the factors. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do it this way though because that's how I have mine set up. So I'm gonna start just like I would with normal multiplication. I'm not even gonna worry about where those decimal points are right now because they don't really mean anything. They're just holding place and we're gonna fix that whenever we work on our answer. So right now we're just gonna deal with this just like regular long or regular standard algorithm multiplication. So three times eight will be 24. We'll drop our four down and we'll carry our two up. Three times nine is of course 27 and two more makes 20. Nine. Now we don't have to worry about that zero out front really. We can if you if you uh, if it makes you feel good to carry to keep the place. Three times zero would be zero, and you just throw a zero up top. But zeros to the left of my numbers always throw me off, so I generally tend to not worry about them. Now we do need to worry about a zero in the place that's right here because this is not just a this is a seven now, but because we're multiplying by tenths, actually we need to put a zero at the back of this number because there's we've already multiplied by the three tenths, so we have a zero tenths there. All right, so since it's a power of 10, we're dropping in the zero, and now I can deal with this just like a regular seven. Seven times eight, 56. Six, and I'll carry my five over. Seven times nine is 63, plus another five would give us 68. So there we go, just like normal. Four plus nothing is, of course, four. Six plus nine is 15, carry my one over. 2 plus 8 is 10, and that other one makes 11. So I'm going to carry my 1 again, and 6 plus 1 is 7. Now, I'm almost done, but I have to deal with my decimal points now. So up here in my question, I'm going to go over 1, 2. So I've got two spots there that I have to deal with, and I have, let's see, one spot with this number that I have to deal with. So now I have to add those decimal points into my answer. So again, I had two decimal points in the front for my first factor, and I had one more decimal point for my second factor. So that's where my decimal point is going to go, right here between my seven and my one. So my answer would be seven and 154 thousandths. Now this makes sense because this number, if I were to round it, would be about one and 7.3 or even seven, if you wanna round that number times one, seven times one would be right around seven. This will be a little less than 7.3 because this isn't quite one. So this answer is very reasonable. I think we can say we did all right. All right, check on with number two. You're gonna run through those same steps.